Since 1806, the Lewis Moynet watchmaking company has been successfully operating in the marketplace. They excel in offering high-end luxury watches that have a solid reputation for quality that has been established over a long period. The independent brand's headquarters are located in St. Blaise, Switzerland. They are famous all over the world for their inventive use of some of the rarest materials on Earth and even further afield in conjunction with cutting-edge technology in the creation of highly valuable limited editions, which are nested within familial collections that umbrella the varieties contained therein. One such timepiece is the Louis Moynet Mercurius, which recently changed hands for an incredible price of $4.6 million. To get a better understanding of the concept, one needs to examine the watch in greater detail. There are a few really convincing aspects that contributed to the value increasing to a comfortable fortune. The Meteoris watch line that was designed by Louis Moynet is a statement that can't be overshadowed, even in a world where opulence and excessive luxury are the norm. Louis Moynet was a master of mechanics, a pioneer in chronometry, the inventor of the chronograph, and one of the most prominent watchmakers in the history of the industry. He is responsible for leaving behind a legacy that continues to set the bar for high-class watches. Throughout his life, watchmaker Louis Moynet designed watches that were works of art for a variety of historical individuals. He was driven by a burning passion and a dogged determination to fulfill his true purpose. Louis Moynet made time enduring horologues for a number of notable figures, including Napoleon Bonaparte, Thomas Jefferson, King George IV of England, Tsar Alexander I, and Marshal Murat, King of Naples. These are only a handful of the notable figures for whom Louis Moynet worked. The Louis Moynet Meguiars is a collection of four different watches that are offered for sale together as a package deal. Each one illustrates the solar system in a unique fashion and incorporates a piece of meteorite into its design. It is thought that the fragment that was used in the building of the Rosetta Stone Torbilan fell from the planet Mercury to the Earth. The estimated age of the piece that was used in the making of the Rosetta Stone Torbilan is around 4.6 billion years old. It's only a coincidence that the price at which the property was sold was also $4.6 million. The same can be said for the other three timepieces in the set. They all make use of components derived from meteorites and asteroids. We can see them shown in the photo that is located above and configuration that sets them in a mock-up exhibition of what is presumed to be their origins, which are someplace from deep inside outer space as visitors from other worlds including the Moon, Mars, and from an asteroid, in addition to the small remnant that came from Mercury. The planetarium that can be seen in the image above is included with the kit. What makes these watches so valuable? Although we have heard about watches created from fragments of meteorites in the past, these particular ones have a number of factors working in their favor, which contributes to their high value. The first reason is that occurrences of them are relatively uncommon. These wristwatches are not the kind of thing you can walk into a store and pick up, nor are they something that can be replicated with ease even if you are able to get your hands on the extremely uncommon components. In deconstructing the factors that contribute to the value of this collection, which is a four-in-one with a bonus display that is out of this world in terms of creativity and whimsy, the distinctive materials that were used to create the watch, the cutting-edge technology that was used to create the timepieces, including the craftsmanship and also the brand name, are some of the factors that were taken into consideration. The specifications. Meteorites, moon rocks, or asteroids are all used in the construction of each individual dial. The name of the model is cleverly engraved on the right arc of the circular hours reserve indicator, which is centered directly below the 12 o'clock position, and has an open work pattern that allows observation of the mechanical workings beneath the power reserve of 72 hours. We view the Rosetta Stone example, and we notice that the name of the model is cleverly engraved on the right arc of the circular hours reserve indicator. Directly below, just above the 6 o'clock position, there is a slightly larger circular escapement that, when rotated, shows the Torvalon cage and proudly displays the intricacies of this wonderful piece. The approach taken by each of the four cases is the same, but they each have their own individual characteristics. Identification of the materials and their extreme valuation. Through the openwork architecture of the dial, we can view each individual shard of the meteorite that has been presented. The Jitta al Harris' 479 meteorite, which originated on Mars but eventually reached Earth, provided the raw materials for the Torbalan Mars watch. This meteorite originated on Mars but eventually reached Earth. It is thought that the material for this watch is around 180 million years old, and the piece has been handcrafted. These are extremely uncommon materials that carry a price tag that is 1,000 times higher than that of gold, clocking in at $15,000 per gram. The meteorite for this, as well as the other three, has been painstakingly constructed and set in position with the openwork escapement. In the case of the Torbal and Mars with silvered minute and hour hands, the meteorite has also been placed in place with the openwork escapement. 
The Meteorist Tourbillon timepiece is made up of 50 different parts, and it also has an open display back so that the mechanism may be admired in all of its amazing detail from either the front or the rear of the watch. Meteorite shards that were actually collected from the moon are used in the construction of the Tourbillon moon. The dial of the Tourbillon asteroid is made from an asteroid that, according to scientific speculation, formed in close proximity to the sun. Uniqueness and Exclusivity Each of the four specimens contained within this collection is constructed from asteroid or meteorite materials that originated in a unique location. Louis Moynet is one of the few watchmakers who is noted for upholding such a mentality of exclusivity in their work. These are not timepieces that were manufactured in big quantities and distributed to the general public as part of a mass production run. Every one of them has been painstakingly created, and the available quantities are extremely restricted. The next thing that we look at is the brand that was behind the creation. It just so happens that this is the name of the legendary watchmaker who is considered to be one of the most accomplished horologists of all time. Jean-Marie Schaller, the founder, creative director, and CEO of Louis Moynet, credits his creative genius with assisting him in the creation of one of the most well-known and highly appreciated watch brands in the history of the industry. This one-of-kind collection is comparable to high-quality works of art, and the breathtaking watches it contains are some of the rarest items on the face of the globe. Do you like it? Kindly give your valuable response in our comment section below, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more interesting and informative videos.